Okay, so this will likely be my last video on this subject, but I want to show you this real quick because it's really hot. I want to turn the fan back on. Okay, this is the Mare Moscovian Sea of Moscow crater on the moon. Supposedly, we can't see this side of the moon, so we don't know. But anyway, this is the, a very important crater, apparently. It's basically Isis, uh, Columbus, Columbia, Bale, everything. Just about Easter egg, the Easter bunny, everything. Okay, so I got this aligned exactly how it should be <clears throat> aligned over the Earth. I mean, this is an accurate alignment. This has already been flipped over backwards. It's like a rubber stamp, so you have to flip the moon over backwards and overlay it on the Earth. Okay, so this crater here, it's supposed to be 32 miles across on the moon. If you measure it, it's 32 miles across. But on the Earth, I have to go up here. All right, we'll make this quick. Okay, this is worth it. Just hang in there. Just hang with me for a second. This is my final video. You don't have to watch any more after this. Okay, so this crater is created by this round feature right here in Pennsylvania. Or, yeah, Pennsylvania. Or what is it? Yeah, Pennsylvania. That's it. That round crater, or this round mountain, is creates that crater right there on the moon. Okay? It does. And Baltimore goes right inside this little crater off to the side. Okay, then you come down here and take the, see this point right here? You align that point right there with that point on the earth. That See that? Once you do that, you can pull back and you can look at the whole thing. And it's right on. Just right on the money. And how do we know that? I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, see how the Great Lakes are right inside of that? The Great Lakes were volcanic. They were volcanoes, basically. And now they're lakes. Okay, so this is, this is an accurate alignment. Look at the whole thing. This way this curves down here at the bottom and hooks back. It's accurate. And like Ohio, Ohio right here. Let me turn the borders on here. Real quick. Turn the borders on. Ohio. I wonder why they call it Ohio. I think that right there says something. It's got a big O in it. And this is accurately, accurately aligned. Now check it out. How do I know that? Because this weather pattern that I found last night in my one of my folders, I overlaid it over the earth, just aligning the borders. Just how it's supposed to be. Watch. This right here. I, I just basically aligned California with California, Mexico. You know, I just aligned the borders of the, of the, of America. See how I did that? It's close enough anyway. You can see it's pretty close. Florida is right there by Florida. And then check it out how it, this weather pattern aligns over that crater. I didn't align the, this weather to that crater. I just aligned the borders, and this is how it fit on its own. Look at that. It even gives you this part right here. This You don't see this very often in the weather, that part. It doesn't show very often. But this crater shows all, all across the planet. It shows in Asia. It shows in in Europe it shows all the way across the Atlantic shows in it it uplifted the Colorado the Rockies not Colorado but it uplifted the Rocky Mountains same thing you'll see this same crater shape sometimes over the Rockies you find certain maps will show it that goes right there just like that well then if that's the case you have to question the ice age you have to question the glacier that supposedly was over the this area of the earth that melted. I mean, I would have to question that. It looks to me like there was something besides a glacier there. And you can see that it's a big round, big round pattern of weather. Nothing outside those lines. Look at look at that. There's nothing outside that circle. Just a beautiful circle. The lines perfect with that crater. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'm done. My re my research is done. I think I proved my point. I mean, I got a thousand videos on my channel. You know, I've proved I've done enough. Done my share. So everybody have a good weekend. I turn the fan back on. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Well, there won't be next time on this subject.